Hello, Gel Press fans. Hope everybody's doing well today. Valentine's Day is almost upon us. And so I wanted to put together just a little tiny book for my guy, The Reasons Why I Love You. So this is created using the Eileen Hall Sizzix Scoreboards Tiny Book Die. Okay, and it does come with some other items, but for right now, I'm just going to be working on creating the pages and the papers to decorate the outside of it. So, I have gathered a few things together. I have some handmade little stamp stamps. Okay, love here. And you have to always remember that if you want to stamp with words on your gel press, they must look right to you on the stamp look wrong to you as you are stamping but when you pull they will look right to you hope that all makes sense i have a heart piece of amazon bubble wrap i made up this little rolly thing this could be fun i don't know we'll see how that works i also have yes i don't throw things away i cut out a whole bunch of hearts um, and these are the leftover strips from me doing that. So we'll see how I'm going to use those in this process. I have a nice little pile of paints over here to the side. I also have some additional papers I'm going to use. Um, these are actual papers. But then I also have some um, vintage papers that all I've done is make copies of them on my laser printer. So they're printed front and back. Um, we have a couple different things. We have a large receipt. We have small receipts. We have music. But they're all double-sided because these are going to be the insert pages in my book. Okay. And last but not least, we have the 8x10 gel press, which is going to be the base for all of this. So, are you ready to get this party started? Woohoo! Let's go. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm working with a little bit of translucent shimmery paint and some matte acrylic paint. And I'm going to use those pieces of Tovers, the pieces of trash, I'm just going to lay them out on to the gel press. Um, I did later find out that I really didn't like the lines that I got um, when I did this pull. So you'll see that later on I kind of put them closer together. But still, all in all, it's a great pull. But I noticed there's still quite a bit of paint left, so I'm just going to go back in and rub inside of all of those hearts so as to not waste any paint. And there you go. Now I'm going to pull up those little pieces of trash I had. And at this point, I decided to bring in an eight, a uh, little five by seven gel press over to my side. And I'm going to use that as my paint palette. So here you can see me just applying the acrylic paint using the bubble wrap onto the gel press. Now I don't ever want to waste paint. You're going to hear me repeat that time after time. So why not just stamp on the back of that paper? And there you go. Two for the price of one right there. So I have already put that darker pink down onto my gel press, but I'm just going to embrace the lighter pink that was already on my roller. I've now added a little bit of white translucent paint, and now I'm going to use that love stamp that I created out of a couple pieces of chipboard, and I'm just going to randomly stamp all the way down the gel press. I did find that I got a better stamp if I stamped off over onto the side um, and take some of that excess paint out of there. So you can see how I did that. Next, I'm going to pull that fluted heart stamp that I created and just randomly repeat the same process. And when I'm finished, I'm just going to grab another piece of that printed um, paper that I did on my laser print. Give her a good old rub and then we'll pull. 
So if you've ever taken a class from me or know anything about my teaching, I love to tell on myself. So when I went back and listened to <laughs> the recordings, I was not impressed with any of these polls that I was doing. I was like, this has turned out horrible. But the one thing that I needed to remember is that these were just the first pulls and that there were going to be many more layers to go. You'll see where I just used that little whirly thing, I don't know, my little roller. That came out kind of cool, um, but I wasn't overly impressed. But I think it's just like I said, it's the layers that made it all work. So I'm once again not wasting any paint and doing extra pulls off of that gel press. Okay, so what do you do with those prints that you don't like? Here I'm putting down a little bit of a light pink translucent paint. And once again, I pulled out that Amazon bubble wrap and look at that. Stamped over there on the side, use a little bit of that heart um, mask that I have here. And voila, you have taken that sheet that you really didn't like quite so much and taken it to another place. And voila, there you have it, another beautiful pull. Now, at this point in time, I'm just feeling like I'm not getting enough depth. Um, I always struggle a real lot with monochromatic um, coloring, so I've decided that I'm going to throw in a little red to take this up a notch. The red is in an opaque matte color and the white is a translucent shimmery color which always is so cool because you get that matte versus shimmer type of thing as i had said before i didn't like that space that i had between the masks so i'm just going to put them a little bit closer this time and make a pull and there we go getting into those hearts trying to get down in there to pull all that color Voila, there we go. So now I'm going to use this sheet of vintage paper, which does have a little bit more flexibility so you can really get into the nooks and crannies of those hearts. So here we go. There's the pull. Let's remove the masks and one more pull over top of the pink, which I didn't really like. Give her a good rub. And here we go. Eek! Don't you just love it? Okay. Now let's work on the rest of them. I've got, some, I've got some white on my gel press. And it just, some of these just need a little something something on them. So I love using my gel press also as my paint palette. All right. And so here you can see put all those super cool little white dots on it. Loving it. See, and then your cleanup sheet suddenly becomes something usable. All right. Loving that there. Oh gosh, yes. All right, so this is what I ended up with. This was kind of the pull, the cleaning page. That. This. This one's kind of cool. of our accent papers that we'll use. This is cool because it has the shimmery white with the matte white. That, I actually really love how that came out. Okay. But we have to remember, I'm not using these as prints to be put on the wall these are all going to be little pages in my little tiny book which I can't wait to put together see so I'm only going to be using little small segments of these pages that I create all right are you ready for the great reveal okay so I use some of that paper to decorate the top of the box and here you have it here is my little mini Oh my gosh, and I put some charms off the side. It has this little stick pin in here, and you untie it. It says, I love 
you, Bruce Emmons. You, I don't know why that one little piece right there does not want to stick down, are my heart. And I have some little extra pages here in the back for a little lovey love letter. But there you go. There is my mini book and box. Thank you, Eileen, for this super cool die. I am sure I will have many, many, many more mini books to come. Till then, thank you for stopping by and watching, and be creative. Bye.